nights of quiet stars floating on the silence that surrounds us. So, Fern, Matters of the Heart is about women that we love, talking about things that they love, and just like getting to know you a bit more, really. And I do know you, I've known you for ages, but yeah. I didn't know that this is one of your favourite parts of London. It is. It's, this view, particularly, is such a special view. This is definitely like a place where I'd come to get some peace and tranquility, and I've just got some nice memories from that kind of little setting out there. <laughs> I just want to clear something up because you're not leaving Radio 1 because you're having a baby, right? You're, no, you're I've made Radio the decision it's, before. It's the next step. You know, you have to shut certain doors for new ones to open. You can't jog along in the same thing and expect new things to come at you left, right and centre. So I was like, right, let's truly shut a door and just see what happens. And it's exciting, it's scary, it's nerve wracking, but it's, it feels really good. When do you know when you're in love? Um, isn't it a weird one? It's such a difficult one to kind of pinpoint what's what, but I think this relationship with my husband is so different to anything I've experienced before. Was it love at first sight? I don't know how you ever really sort of tell what that feeling is, but it was like, we just clicked that moment. It was kind of, there was no going back. We were like locked in from that second. I guess you could say that was love at first sight, yeah. <laughs> Being a parent is everything. It's brilliant, it's tough, it's tiring, it's exciting. It's just, it's literally every emotion that you've experienced in life in one bundle. It kind of gave me this like lioness thing mm -hmm. and it came as soon as I gave birth and it's definitely made me more assertive and upfront with people. And um, I lacked that massively before. I was really bad at confrontation and now I'm very good at it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, beware then, baby. Beware, yeah. <laughs> quite hippie really aren't you I, when I think about you I do think that you have like quite a sort of spiritual essence do you think that that side of things have helped you they are the sole basis apart from family that allow me to do this job and you know for me that is meditation yoga stuff that I don't shout about or talk about or feel the need to overexpose mm. they're just things that really keep me solid throughout all the weird stuff because you love painting as well. I do, yeah. I do, yeah. yeah, I love it. It's been more of a hobby, but now I've managed to sort of make this weird crossover where I'm combining work with that. That is, that is a dream. Like, I can't, I pinch myself. I can't believe that I'm allowed to sit there doodling clothes and then they get made. Like, that for me is just pure joy. It's the best bit of what I do. And the design thing is definitely something I want to kind of grow and just see where I can take it. Is there anything that you love so much that isn't a human or music? Is, is it a pair of shoes? Because I definitely have a love affair with lots of my shoes. <laughs> I know. I feel like I can <laughs> eat them. I'm so, I have such a relationship with them. Um, or, or an animal or just a thing. Mm, I mean, we've got cats who we absolutely adore. And one of them's 20. And she's a freak of nature because she should not be alive and she looks awful, but she's so healthy and protected the vet and she's fine. 20. She's 20, she's like world record breaking cat. And she's got some mad spirit that's keeping her alive and it's really weird. So we are so fond of her. That's a lot more sentimental than me and my <laughs> You're shoes. You're to happen. <laughs> I can eat my shoes. <laughs> um, thank you so much, Fern. Thank you. It's been lovely to delve into your heart. Oh, no. I love my shoes more than anything. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Just ditch your boyfriend for the Terry. Quiet nights of quiet stars.